Hello, welcome to this screencast, which is a mechanism for reminding me how to turn MATLAB on and also how to navigate to an appropriately set path within MATLAB. So let's begin. We'll start in the lower left hand corner and we'll simply click on the MATLAB icon so that MATLAB begins to open. The challenge here is having MATLAB link to the appropriate set of folders and files and functions so that it can call any particular function that I've written over the last several years. We'll do this by first making sure that we start out up here where you see C, Users, Matthews, and Documents MATLAB. And we want to click on the most recent version of my MATLAB folder. In this case, it's dated November 23rd of 2017, but it won't always be dated that way. Nevertheless, this is going to be our starting point. From here, we want to make sure that we are in the Home menu, and from there, we can make sure that we go over to the Set Path area. So I'll click over here to Set Path, and I'll click on that. And within Set Path, what we want to do is click on Add with Subfolders. And this itself brings up a new menu. The new menu itself contains something like what we had seen just a moment ago, MATLAB November 23rd, 2017. Again, remember that the date here is going to be changing, but for the moment, it's at November 23, 2017. Even though I'm speaking here now on uh, December of 2016, I've labeled this November 23 uh, of 2017. Okay, then we click on, click on Select Folder, okay, and that brings up this entire blue area. And once that is up, we can click on Save, and then we can close. Okay. And we, now that we've done that, we can link very easily to our earlier functions. For example, we have a previously existing function that is simply to add 2 to a number. And here I'll add 2 to the number 17, and I'll get 19. Or I can take advantage of some previously written functions. I can have a vector called Q. I can dial in and use Q as an input vector to something I've recently written, which is getting a matrix for my VSS 2017 project. And I'll take that matrix now, and then I can display that matrix here. OK, that's how we begin to connect MATLAB to the appropriately set path that has all of the functions I've created over the past several years. Thanks. Bye-bye.